Looks like two cop cars at the community meal. Coming for their free meal, I bet. I don't understand why this thing is uh like <clears throat> it's bunching up. It gets stuck every so often up in here. It wants to come up up in here and get stuck. Like it's just all the way up to here. It's really strange. Alright, so I slept at the River of Life Men's Shelter. And it was on the top bunk. So I had to jump up and down on that a couple of times. That's a little bit of a challenge. Most people prefer the bottom bunk, and I can understand why. I slept next to some of the biggest snorers. I didn't hear anybody else snore but the ones next to me, and they were very loud. So sleeping was very challenging. Um, if I'm going to sleep there another night, i got to make sure that I'm not next to that guy again. Because he is, he is very... He's got a problem. So, uh... There's quite a few people I recognize from in the library at Boise, and even uh, another library too at Hillcrest. I actually recognize a couple of people from uh, the libraries, and so I thought they were regular folk who had their own place, but they're living in the, the homeless shelter too. It's just a surprise. I mean, they look healthy, they look like they're able-bodied and all that, but just sleeping in the sleeping in the homeless shelter. I'll say that my upper back feels very stiff from sleeping on that bed. My back is not used to sleeping on beds. And uh, yeah, it feels normal at sleeping on a, in a car seat, but yeah, maybe, maybe it just, it's bent out of shape or something. Maybe it needs to get used to sleeping on a bed that's why it's stiff I was hoping picnic table fitness would straighten it out but it's not doing enough okay so this is how it's stuck it keeps doing this a lot Okay, uh, this is speculation, but yeah, I just had a lady ask me if I'm alright while I was recording my, my bicycle sprocket. I didn't say a word to her, okay? I just moved along. I assume that the pe first first people who ask if you're okay are the last people who can help you. Because it's, e it's easy for the ask them to ask you if you're alright. It's easy for them to say, oh, I can't help you. Alright, I'm not even going to bother. This is a this is a problem that I know she can't help me with anyway because I've never seen it before. It's the strangest thing, but it it seems it, it's easy to to ask if somebody's all right and then you know not being able to help them. It's, it's just as easy to say, oh sorry, uh, just just asking. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Just asking because that's my nature. Alright, Bogus Basin looks a little out of my range. 16 miles from this point? No way. Not a chance. This is the road. I've never 
never seen the business called the Pursuit before. It sounds like an athletic club. <clears throat> the Pursuit. The Pursuit of Fitness. I'm guessing. It's not clear on the from the window. Oh, it's a church. There's a little bit of Harrison Hollow. <laughs> it's just a wasteland. And they got erosion repair signs. Whatever. This is such a wasteland. Why bother? Why bother worrying about it? It looks like they've they've planted wheat. <clears throat> Yeah, if they didn't plant this wheat, it would really look barren. But also, if they if they didn't plant all this wheat, the quail and more natural uh, vegetation would probably come in. In my opinion, it's pushing out the sagebrush. You know, with all this alfalfa on the top. I'm guessing that the cows were pasturing on these hills at one time. Alfalfa can handle drought because they grow an extra long root. They really tap deep into the earth, like a hundred feet from what I understand. Quite a ridge, I think that's natural. Hmm. The day is really starting to heat up. It's a water tower. It'd be nice if they had a drinking fountain. This isn't the tallest hill, but you almost feel like you're in an airplane looking down on things. You just can't swoop over things. This is the type of landscape I expect to see where, that's, where all those trees are and stuff, where the city is. I expect to see this kind of landscape in its place before it was like settled by Europeans because you know Indians didn't really try to do their landscaping all those trees in my opinion rely on man-made irrigation ditches pipes canals it all has to be man-made to make it sustainable. A little bit of a growing community outside of Boise. You have the security of distance and isolation. It's a big advantage. Horseshoe would, Horseshoe Bend, well a lot of cities just use that isolation as their security measure. <clears throat> set it up where not many people want to visit don't put a store out there only residential homes and people who are willing to travel the distance for that security <clears throat> so our footsteps are going to cause too much erosion seems kind of silly natural erosion and human activity, where we are, uh, I don't know, maybe over exaggerates our our effects on the erosion by footsteps. Mm, vehicles, sure. How oh, this rusted out car got to where it is is it's interesting. Right down it, right alongside the trail. Hmm. Too steep and sandy. Wow. Too steep and sandy. Here's another ridge. This one's pretty tall. It's just a little bit taller than the other ones. And, uh, I guess I'm heading to Garden City, so that's a 
Well, destination. There's a there's actually a food bank I want to hit since it's uh, will be open today and available. I'll be closer to it. So why not? You know, I'm stuck here. Got to save money for when I can leave. Oh, I just need my chain to stick now. <clears throat> Very nice looking. Oh, there's a balloon up. Looks like one is. There's two balloons. The Garden City Balloon Club. That'd be a nice view. How much does that cost? You can get pretty good views from the mountain. Actually, more like hillside. Hillside, not quite a mountain. Alright, I'm probably going to need to get back to walking here, because it gets steep. It's, I can only bicycle for short distances. Yeah, because it's scary. Alright, that's it. So here's some old uh, evidence that this used to be grazing land for cows. Old fence. Just a little section of it. So they abandoned farming out here for, for economical reasons. Some nice erosion. Now how is preventing people from walking here going to prevent that? It's ridiculous. This is one extremely steep hillside and I'm coming down. And it's slippery. So just got to be very careful. There's Boise off in the distance and that house that can overlook Boise. That's amazing. I'm just going to comment that I never see that goat head, that thorny seeded plant on the walking trails. I never see it. It's always alongside the roads. Must be for a reason. What the heck? They're blocking my trail. Why would they put this fence up? <laughs> Seems kind of strange. Now I'm gonna smell like sagebrush. Uh, this route, so I was on a erosion trail, or they, uh, they don't want you taking that trail anymore. <laughs> All right, that happens to me so much, I go down, one way and then I come to the end and they're saying you're not allowed on the trail. It's ridiculous. Can't believe the locals don't want to encourage more sagebrush to grow. The stuff smells so good and it's not even in flower. I just rub up against it and I smell like it. It's like a it's a perfume. It's really nice. Alright, this is the entrance for the trail on this end in uh, I guess Garden City. And now, I still have a couple hours before the library opens. Gotta figure out what I can do. Nice big bicycle lanes on the outskirts here. Quite comfortable to ride on. Okay, at the intersection of Catulpa. I wonder why they got this. Is this for water? Is it gonna be an irrigation ditch? Some kind? I think I'm turning on the Catalpa. I'm not sure. We got the Garden Plaza. Some kind of a eatery, and I think people might live over here. Uh, skins, skin cancer center. Oh, the lovely flower market. I could ride through there. It's pretty darn open. Oh, 
exit for them stairs. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Surly, that's a bicycle brand. I didn't see where it said it's a bicycle shop. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. I should probably turn around. People, people lounge around and eat out here and shop for flowers and possibly bicycles. Surly, yeah, that's bicycle. Bike touring news. Hmm. Surly. I'd like to look up geothermal for Boise. That looks like it'd be interesting. Bonsai Planting Studio, June 25th. Wow, these horses never moved. I thought they were fake. They're actually real. They could kick me, I'm in kicking range. Hey, horsey. All right, so I purchased this with food stamps, little half rib thing, a little too much sugar in it, but I gotta get some pork in me. And then I always, or I buy this a little too much for the price, it's out of my range. I really drain my finances, my, my food stamp finances. I have to wonder, what is harder on the liver? Having too much fat in the diet, or consuming too many uh, foods that uh, stimulate testosterone production. I think maybe testosterone might be messing with my liver, which affects my heart. Uh, I think that that uh, very hormone could really be causing a lot more disruption than fat. But I don't know. I know doctors say it's generally fat that does it, saturated fat.